tense it long enough. Wow. Change. Okay. Does it feel pretty intuitive for you now, the way you can control it? Is it well, I mean, I've been helping these guys for like two years now. So, so you kind of condition yourself to, to understand how to... Yeah, so like you can, if you tense it hard enough, it changes. Yeah. So like how you would do that is how I'd be able to do a grip change. So. Okay. I've been doing it so much, my arm is starting to go to sleep a little bit. Oh god, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's good though, because uh, again, not only is it like a great prosthetic, it's also getting those arm muscles back for people who like never actually realized they had them in the first place. Yeah. Because I have slight part of my wrist, like a titch, so I can just do that and that, so. Okay. So it's not only, uh, it's, I think it's stuck again. There we go. Wow. Yeah, I wanted to break free. Um, so yeah, it's not only just the way it looks and looking awesome and standing out and in a positive light, but also having people go like, you know, actually get some of that muscle growth back as well. Yeah. So I think when I get home, I'm going to have more muscle than I did on this arm on this side. <laughs> of so, course. But yeah, we're still in the prototype stage and I love it. The amount of people are just looking at it and look at this and like, that's right, You're right. I'm wearing it. <laughs> that's so cool. This is, this is John the Founder as well. So yeah, we're doing a collab, uh, direct collaboration with him. Uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. So. And how, can you show me the sensors again? Yeah. So they're just under here. I won't take off the panels, but they're just under here. So it's arm sensors. Yeah, you sure? Yeah, I'd rather they get them to do it because if they break it, it's not so bad. But if I break it, they'll be like, you're fired. <laughs> so at the moment, we're using these disposable electrodes. Okay. Kind of like standard um, medical electrodes. Right, yeah. For EMG, ECG, yep. EKG. I remember applying those a lot when I, yeah. I used to work in ADR, so I was using them all the time. Yeah, those leads. Yep. Um, but the. The next prototype is going to have uh, reusable, just little metallic contacts built into the socket, nice. so that you can, so Dan will just be able to pull it off, pull it, put it on, awesome. really easily. Um, and that should be ready in like a month or so. We're getting really close now to having that. And what was this? I'm assuming this was 3D printed, or is this a mold from 3D printed? This is all 3D printed. Yeah. Okay. What do you guys use to print? So most of it's FDM printers. Okay. Um, which is the, we use the Ultimaker printers. Yeah, okay. Um, so this, the whole socket underneath all of these components. Um, for the panels, we used Shapeways. Which, okay. Um, so nylon SLS prints. Okay. And then we've just sanded them down, buffed them down. Yeah. And then painted them and glossed and varnished them to lap them to get them finished. Right, yeah, yeah. It takes a long time to get a really nice finish like this. Oh, I understand, yeah. I do the same thing. Something like this is totally worth it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So for our um, production methods, we're looking at other, other ways of finishing 3D prints that yeah. will be more, um, less manual, sure. so that it will be more cost effective. Have you thought about speaking with uh, people at Stratasys? We uh, have using to, the, yeah, the, yeah. The, J, like the J750 or the new, you know, the thousand uh, Yeah, we've, spoke, we've spoken with people at um, Stratasys and, and indeed 3D Systems as well to yeah. see, see what prints they have. And they, you know, they, you can do incredible things with them, but they're... Yeah. Most of them are generally designed for prototyping rather than production. Right. Um, and with 3D printing at the moment, there's like a they're kind of halfway between yeah. doing production machines. Sure. Um, the industry is sort of beginning to do that more. Yeah. It's which is moving what we need to do. out of the beginning stages, I think. Yeah, yeah. It's getting to a much more final polish. And, but the issue for us is that um, any anything that uses uh, UV light to cure. Resin, yeah. like SLA technology, right. is um, not appropriate for like mechanical components. Right, because the tensile strength, the reflection is not. And it, they degrade under UV light. Right. 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 And even when, yeah, even if you apply a finish to them, it's, they're not as reliable. Yeah, that's what I hear. Um, and then the SLS, the SLS parts are fantastic. Yeah. But the they, the surface is harder than the surface of plastic parts. Okay. Which means finishing processes aren't as effective. Mm. So if you want to get a nice shiny finish, you've got to um, work much harder. You've got to work harder. The machine cost is much much higher yeah. uh, than the, the, the like one-off print cost. Is not that much different? Right. But the machine cost is more than half a million dollars. Then you have to spend another half a million dollars on the finishing sure. equipment. So with those FDM print, it's two thousand, like three thousand dollars, yeah. and yeah. finishing equipment might be another one thousand. Yeah. So yeah. buy loads of them. And it's, it's really quick and cheap, so. Yeah, so this is much, this is pretty much the happy medium right now, yeah. yeah, yeah, I think when we when we go into production, it'll be nine months to 12, nine to 12 months, yeah. hopefully, don't quote me on that. Sure, sure. We'll, um, we'll be using a, a mixture of technologies. Okay. So we'll be, we'll be getting some SLS printed parts, yeah. which will be internal components where we want them to be really, really high resolution, really repeatable. Yeah. Um, and we'll all be ordering lots of them at the same time. 
and then for the customized components we'll probably be using the FDM printers. Okay. The balance as well. Yes, it cleans by itself, yeah. Was, yeah, yeah. was that a uh, was that a fluke or did you did you I eyeballed it and I because I knew the weight of the material very well from printing a lot, so it worked out. Yeah, I mean you can 